This is a Warfer PPQ CO2.177 pistol. That's the non blowback version. Um, holds a eight round magazine. You get two of them with it. Um, I've got a speed loader for these, which I'll show you. I'll show you in a bit. Um, very good. Um, we're going to give it a power test. We're going to take it outside and give it a good shoot up. Um, and my friend has got one of these exactly the same and we both noticed the same thing that when you shoot it that was tending to pull to the left and we figured that because of the action of the trigger um, I will just show you this that has got gas in it so uh, um, as you pull it because there's a uh, you, you f how you hold your finger on the trigger tends to pull it to the left so we found that if you actually bring the tip of your finger on the trigger that that sort of fires a bit more accurately and if you just bear in mind when you hold it if you double hand it and bear in mind that is going to pull to the left maybe put your finger on the side to hold it and it becomes a lot more accurate so just a little tip if you've got one of these and you think that's shooting to the left the problem with the sides that's not that's how your finger and your hand the mechanics of it um, that's a very good gun. You, the reason I got it and wanted it is because, um, and again, I've done a previous video. Um, I, I think I got like 60, 70, 80 shots out of it off one CO2 canister. So um, that's why I wanted it. You know, if you just want to have a few pings now and again, um, although leaving your CO2 in your gun is probably not the best thing to do, you're better off using it up and taking it out. But yeah, that's the, no problem since. Well, since we've done the um, CO2 fix, if yeah. you haven't seen that video, check that out. It's very popular. CO2 fix works on any gun. You put a bit of PTFE tape on your canister, preferably. My, my 1911 was horrible for leaking. Yeah. And I've had that can in there for ages. Yeah, well, I've, I've had this canister and this particular one in a while. So, um, anyway, what I will do, I will just show you, quickly show you the, the speed loader. You know, this is a, a 3D printed. Um, Thing I made myself and design. I got a little shoot list fish name on the bottom. Um, so what you do, um, this is the uh, pallet seater. So what you do, you basically drop your mag in the right way up, obviously, and the hole there. You put your finger over it. Get your pallets. And if you shoot a CO2 yeah, gun, especially one where you just keep pretty quick, um, and fill them up is, is the biggest um, drawback really. So what you do, you just give it a shake, take your finger off the hole, tip it out, and as you can see, all right, there's one there that hasn't hasn't actually filled up. If I'd have shook it a bit more, that would have done. So I'll just fill that one in. Okay, then you get your pallet pusher, we'll see you. Line it up and give it a press. Little click lifts it out for you ready to shoot um, so you can probably empty that mag as quick as you can fill it so that's why I designed this little speed loader again I tend to use a gun more since I've made this because filling it up was the, was the biggest drawback uh, so that's all ready to go um, I'll put the mag in when we get it outside to keep it all safe uh, safety on the side there just press it down and that disables the trigger to get it off just slide that bit forward and up very nice to operate actually one of the probably the best safety on on any of my guns to be honest um so um got this nice little milbrew uh holster for it um it drops in the, and, th and this this holster in for this particular gun that's just a generic one in there i keep spare co2 things i got a pocket in the front where i tend to keep the spare mag in there it's a bit hard to get out but then that's sort of not easy to fall out and lose uh, i think that's great picked that up cheap from local gun shop i think that was a fiver but I think they made a mistake on the pricing because if you get on eBay and that, they're sort of 10, 12 quid. Even at that price, I reckon that's worth it. Nice, nice little holster, and that would fit multiple guns. In fact, let's just even this old 1925 Webley. Look at that. Just look at it. So, um, very versatile, I'd imagine. Oh, I've got, this, I've got the sight on this one, so that wouldn't fit in. But if the sight weren't on this, again, uh, I think that'd fit in there a tree. So, nice little holsters. Um, and when you're out in, in the garden shooting, pop it on your belt. You ain't got to worry about laying your gun down, and getting it damaged. You've got it with you at all times. Uh, so, that's that. Um, got to take it outside. Daz is going to have a shoot with it because he ain't really had a go on this too much. And um, we'll see how he get on with that, that trigger pull, whether that's yanking to the left on him. Uh, so, let's get outside and put it through his paces. Take it away, and Daz. So you didn't really shot this gun much. Um, no. Uh, I don't know how much gas is in it, but we've got a spare carriage in the in the holster if you need it. Yeah. We've got the PTFE tape in the shed. Yeah. 
So this is the Walfer PPQ and I am going to have a little session on it. So you just drop it in. Yes, here we go, I'm going to pull on the left end as um, I might just be me and me and my body getting it wrong. What's the verdict then? That's right, that's double stage trigger, isn't it? Yeah, that's just, that's just getting used to it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just that long pickup. What do you think accuracy wise then, is it? It's, yeah, it's dead on. I quite like the sights on them, I think they're very good. Um, Let's go for some smaller objects. just got to have, pull that trigger get that take out. Yeah, that's what I found. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. So. Yeah. Have a go on the speed loader mate, see how you find out. I say mate, when you've got all these things you don't have to get through some pallets, I'll tell you. Yeah. I think it's eight pallets of pressure. So, so uh, yeah. So you've got your little fun. Little revolver style speed loader. I said I designed it all from scratch, I was quite pleased with myself. So let's give it another mag and um, yeah. so we'll give it a par test actually. Before you do that, guys, um, before you shoot the last mag, let's just give it a par test. What's the weight on that tin? 6.9 grains. I'll just let you do it, Daz. I'm going to get my camera on it. Um, safety. Point two. Point one. One. So that's slowly going down, so I'm taking a quick shot. Yeah, yeah, don't waste any more on the chronic mode. So that's just over a foot pound. Five. Yeah, I think my tank is more than half empty to be honest. Yeah. Um but that's still shooting alright, so um just empty that mag does and uh, we'll be done. Alright, good shooting. Right, let me just let me just show you how to do that, Daz. For, for the, because I've seen you drop it twice now. Yeah. Right? Well. So this is this, put it in the right way. Well, so this, show me. <laughs> just am I on the screen, mate? Uh, yeah. So this is the way you unload your PPK. You hold it like that on the side, flip it over, and that drop in the palm of your hand. Just just a little tip there for you. Having seen Daz spill it, obviously that's how I learned that way by yeah. spilling it. Uh, so there we have it. Thanks for watching. I've never actually had one of those type guns. That's no, the one, no, the that one is, I say, once you get a hang on it, that's, yeah, that just drop out. So uh, that's the PPQ. What do you think, Des? Do you like shooting it? Yeah, mate, it's great. It's good fun, accurate. Yeah, yeah, good fun, accurate. Once you get used to that, that funny pull on the trigger. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.